All right, today we're going over some more Neon Dynasty spoilers. It's the weekend, not too many things coming out, but there are some goldies, so we're just gonna look at them. Um, I think we're just gonna go from Saturday's cards. I think there's like one coming up from Sunday because it's pretty late Saturday, but we'll just go over Saturday. The first card we have is Naomi, Pillar of Order, three white and a black, for a creature command advisor. Whenever it attacks, or enters the battlefield, if you have an artifact and an enchantment, create a 2 2 samurai creature token vigilance. I think it's a 4 4, which is kind of beefy. I think this is like, I've seen this effect a few times on a few cards, and I think this is a pretty strong ask. So I don't think this is too good, which makes sense. This is a uncommon legendary. We like that. Um, it looks cool. It looks sick. It kind of reminds me of lore of like more like lore holdy in regards to like the theme going on in the picture. It's like it looks like a weird scroll. Maybe it's like a uh, snake, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. It's it's definitely like mystical though, which is neat. That's definitely kind of neat. Um, more Orzhov commanders that aren't life draining effects are kind of cool, but um, I don't know. It's it's thick. Although also I, <laughs> vigilance probably made it rare, but I feel like this needs one more thing going for. It. Otherwise, it's like, what do you play? Like, what kind of deck does this go in? Like a black white enchantment deck and it's like what's the point of getting the tokens i guess there are a lot of like white enchantments that create tokens um so you just go wide with the sword effect eh. i don't know it's what it's it's whatever it's a it's an uncommon legendary it's what what do you expect right the next up we have lion sash which is a goldie in my opinion got a nice little art up here too which is loving it just love it look how amazing it's amazing um, Lion Slash, one in a white for an artifact creature equipment cat. For a white, exile target artifact card from a graveyard, or target card from a graveyard. If it's a permanent card, put a plus almost a counter on Lion Slash. Lion Slash gets a plus almost one for each, um, yeah, because it's a counter for each permanent card exiled. But also if it's equipped, it gets, uh, the equipped creature gets a plus one plus one for each counter on Lion Slash. So, it's kind of like Scavenging Ooze. It's a little more narrower in regards to its utility. I think generally you want to use this as more of an aggressive card that has some graveyard hate attached to it. Uh, maybe it's just like an aggressive card with graveyard hate, or an, aggrave, an aggressive graveyard hate card. Or like a scavenging ooze I feel like a lot of time is just like a release valve because it heals you so like you can recoup back from like a super close defeat. Um, this probably doesn't have that application. I think that's just because usually you're just gonna like exile things from it with it. Like the control deck is probably gonna play... Eh, not even control decks, we're probably going to play this against like mid-range or aggro decks. And this like just starts swinging for big. It's going to be a strong card. I think it's going to be played in a lot of formats. It's just not, I don't think as good, but maybe, maybe it's just like narrower. Like maybe it's as good, just narrower. It does get bigger than ooze faster because it doesn't necessarily require too much to get a plus one plus counter on it. Also, you have another creature with flying maybe? It just basically move that, those ooze counters to, to another creature. Also, it does make it a little stronger than Ooze, occasionally, if you like reconfigure it because it's just an artifact, which is a, probably a little harder to kill than a creature. So I don't know. I think things got stuff going for it. Multi-format staple. I think it's even hard to be using like standard. Good in Commander. I've seen Scooze's kill a lot in Commander. I think this is gonna be good there have a play against a bunch of gray bear decks and have this just sit there and eat things up you hate to see it but like once you see this on the field and you know there's a bunch of black black decks in commander oh that's gonna be a rough one but yeah cool card buy these when you can it's gonna be sick it's gonna be sick next card is banishing slash a white white for a sorcery disrupt one target artifact enchantment or tap creature then if you control an artifact and an enchantment create a 2-2 two -two white samurai creature token with vigilance uh, this is just like a generally good white card. Like this is like really close to just a mono white vindicate. I think this is what divine gamut should have been. Like this card is good. Destroy up to one target artifact or enchantment. So it's just like a naturalize, but also it can kill creatures. That's amazing. That's gonna be fun. I want to play a mono white control deck so badly, but sorcery speed. I mean, it's uncommon, but like this is this is still really good. I could see this being played in like standard as part of like a main board controlled card. This is good. 
destroy a tap like you top deck this it's like almost always good of course they have like this cool thing going on recently and in, in this set in particular where like they want to make white better you can see this because a lot of the newer cards just require you to play a bunch of white cards like this one in particular you have to play two two white pips for this so your deck has to be white extra white <laughs> Yeah, it's sick. Although I'm curious on what they think about the whole tap destroy tap creature thing. That's probably gonna be mostly a white thing still. Like uh white can't do too much, only occasionally, unless it's being acted upon. It's sort of like the whole like Um I don't know, white has like this weird complex where unless you attack it first, it's gonna be very like docile. That's where this is tap creature clause comes from, I think. I think that's how they how they portray it you can see a lot of cards yeah banishing slash crazy card definitely picking up a few of those and all of the variations along with along with lion slash although i know lion slash is gonna be pretty penny so probably not as many as those uh then we got bamboo grove archer this is part of a cycle i believe with a channel that does a on color effect for its channel it's two mana for three three defender reach that's pretty thick it has Defender, so you're not attacking with it. So it's probably just like a channel card. Probably play it for its channel effect. Which I don't know how often you play it in like a like a constructed format. But it's probably a good limited. Destroy a big creature. I guess I guess a flyer. Most flyers aren't gonna be as big, but pretty decent. Pretty decent. Not gonna much to say about it either. Um the next up we have Tempered Solitude, one in a red for enchantment, whenever a creature you control attacks alone. Exile top card of your library and play a card this turn. I think Reddit had captured this one pretty nicely. It was just like a pretty good do nothing enchantment. Like you play it on the first, you play it on turn two. If you have a turn one drop, um, maybe you don't attack or maybe you attack and then play this. But then turn three, you can attack with one and then you play the card, the card of your library. It's like a weird Frexian Arena for red, which is neat. It's like on color. But also, you don't have to invest a lot into it. Like, I think a lot of other red cards, or other types of enchantments that have this sort of effect, require you to, like, I don't know, they feel like it really wants you to go all out. And having this sort of make you only tackle one creature means you're not going to really be going full aggro with this sort of card. It's going to be like a slow, steady stream of cards with this, which is cool. I think it's a nice nice thing to add. I'm a fan of it. I'm a, I'm a big fan of this. Oh, I don't have too many aggro red decks. I think- oh wait, no, I, I guess I do. Although I, I think of it more as like a controlling mid-range deck, which is like my mono red, um... What's that monkey name? Ragavan. <laughs> my mono red Ragavan EDH deck. Which I remember, I should be playing more of that. I love EDH, but... Not, not any recent time to play it. Um, but yeah, these are some sweet, sweet cards. Sweet cards for today. Let me know what you guys think of these cards in the comments below. Not much, to, not much to say. Super psyched for what's to come up next, especially like some of the cards that were spoiled prior to spoiler season that are like JPEG, just like out of the wazoo. <laughs> it's gonna be cool to see those. But uh, yeah, Banishing Slash, Lion Sash, and uh, Tempered Solitude. Pretty, pretty sick pickups. So let me know what you guys think about these in the comments below. Peace out, and uh, I'll catch you guys later.